What's up, everybody? Here with good friends, sister Kalia Moniz, Victoria from Reunion Island, and China's own Darcy. Hey. Darcy, where are you going to take us today? What are we going to get going into? I think I'm going to take you girls just to the local uh, local school. We're going to visit some kids. We're going to bring some gifts for the kids. And wow. uh, I think we're going to have fun today. I'm going to show you guys around. Let's go. Exciting to see other girls, and you know, yeah, it's cool. This, this is a how we grow up in China. We're all here enjoying each other, having a good time, and there's no language barriers at all. You know, it's just we're out here, duck, duck, goose, and. I don't know what you would say in Chinese, but everybody understands it and everybody has a smile. Everyone gets it. It's, it's great. Yeah, and that's it. Putting a smile on their face and actually them putting a smile on my face. Yeah. So I'm so happy to be here. I'm so stuck and it was a very intense experience to be in, in this school with this child and yeah. Time for the quarterfinals now. Only eight women remained in the contest. In the first quarterfinal, defending world champion Kelly Monaz was up against Jen Smith. In slightly smaller conditions than on previous days, Monaz managed to put a couple of decent scores together, keeping her dream of defending the world championship title alive. American Karina Rozunko was up against Hawaiian Mika Amura. Rozunko, who had reached the semis last year, dealt well with the tricking conditions and again made it into the last four. I mean, I wasn't getting any waves at first. She was getting all of them. I was kind of getting worried out there. I just needed to get a good nose ride. That's what the judges want to see, I guess. And I think that's what did it for me. Last year's finalist, Chelsea Williams, faced an informed Chloe Calmon. But the Australian pocket rocket was too strong for the Brazilian and really made the best of the waves on offer. Strong turns and long nose riding maneuvers clinched another semi final spot for Williams. Justine Dupont, the last remaining European in the contest, had set well until the quarters and also kept the upper hand against Summer Romero. I'm happy it went well and that I improved on last year's fifth place because this year I'm already third and I'm happy with that. She did a lot of nose riding. I surfed a lot of rollers, so it was an interesting heat to judge with these different schools of longboarding. Today, Darcy's going to take us out to a turtle sanctuary. They're actually doing a lot of work and helping to save the turtles here in China. And uh, I'm super excited to go check it out. What about you, Lindsay? I'm ready. Darcy, it's on. Traveling by boat through a traditional Chinese water village, the girls made their way to Sea Turtle 911's floating sea turtle hospital. Curious to find out more about the project. Is there an average size um, for the age of the sea turtle? Uh, well, actually, well, sea turtles, there's about five different types of sea turtles, um, and they are all different sizes of themselves, you know? So um, the one that you see, um, the green sea turtle, um, you see that a lot uh, commonly around, and that's a more medium-sized uh, sea turtle, even if it's older or younger. 
It's so cute. I definitely think that, um, you know, the lack of knowledge of what we throw into the ocean is obviously affecting all the creatures around us and also our planet at, at large, really, you know? It's like easy to just think you throw something in a river and it's gone. Yeah, it's not your trash anymore, but it becomes the trash of the world and, you know, and obviously all these creatures are affected by it. I mean, the ocean is really what it connects the world. So it's not their ocean, it's not our ocean, it's, it's it's everyone's ocean and, and it all runs together at some point and, and we need to start protecting it from around the world. Um, and so coming to places like this and bringing in awareness is um, really important wherever you travel. It was semi-finals time at the Swatch Girls Pro China. Hawaii's Kelly Amanez was up against the young American Karina Zonko, who was looking for her first final in China. In tough conditions, the 17-year-old tried her best and showed some good nose-riding maneuvers, but was it enough to beat Manaz? Well, it wasn't, and the reigning world champion once again showed her contest credentials when it counted and moved into a third consecutive final in China. You know, I've squeaked through every single heat from the quarters and I'm ready to just surf and surf my best and I feel like I've, you know, saved it, saved it all up for this. So I'm really excited. Um, whether I surf against Chelsea or Justine, it's going to be a pretty crazy final. In semi-final number two, Justine Dupont from France was up against last year's finalist Chelsea Williams. Dupont, also a world-class shortboard surfer, once again mixed nose-riding maneuvers with shortboard-inspired turns and surfed another strong heat. But it wasn't quite enough to beat Chelsea Williams, who kept her composure, showed a perfect hang five and some trademark cutbacks, and also made her third consecutive final in China. I gave it all I had on that last one. I knew I needed, you know, a big score and I threw everything I had at it, you know, even hit the rocks on the shore break, so it was worth it. Good. The Chinese crowds waited in anticipation for the third consecutive final between defending champion Kelly Manaz and Chelsea Williams. Could the Australian get a revenge and beat Manaz? Williams had surfed well throughout the contest, but in the final, the 27-year-old didn't quite find a rhythm. And despite showing some radical turns and some good nose riding with tricks like the hang five, she didn't really score with the big points. So was it enough to beat Kilian Manaz? Hailing from Oahu, Hawaii, and growing up in a surf-obsessed family, the defending world champion once again was on points at the right time and dominated the final with some powerful catbacks and stylish nose-riding maneuvers. What a triumph for the Hawaiian who claimed back-to-back -back Swatch Girls Pro China and ASB Women's World Longboarding Championship titles. Manaz once again winning the Swatch Girls Pro China ahead of Williams, Dupont and Rosonko, making her the first woman to successfully defend the ASB Women's Longboard World Championship crown. Just winning an event is great, um, but another world title, second in a row, it's kind of special. It's pretty crazy, and um, Chelsea gave me a run for my money once again. And three years in a row, being in a final with her, it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. It's like I don't even know what to say right now, but I'm really pumped and I'm happy. Yeah, Hawaii.